Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen? Today is a bluegill cure video. I know, I know. Super hard fish to take care of. But I guarantee you some people are gonna, are gonna learn something today. So, this is my third pet bluegill. The other ones I've released back into the wild because they got too big. But this one I plan on keeping for art of his life. His name is Bluey. He is a wild caught specimen. I caught him in a fish trap and he was originally food for Albert, but Albert did not want Mr. Bluey, so Bluey is now my pet. He will live with Albert for all of most of his life until he just outgrows the tank that Albert needs. And I might keep him with Albert for the rest of his life and just upgrade Albert as I upgrade Bluey once. Because he will get bigger than Albert. Which is surprising because he's so small. But, um, but, like I said, they do get big. They get really big. They're pretty personable sometimes. Sometimes they, they're not. But um, they're pretty personable. If you're gonna get a small one like this, like just catching fish trap, if you're gonna get one like this, I'd say, I mean, he's in about five gallons of water with, with a 10 gallon filtration system. So, like I said, for anyone who doesn't know, I have a pet turtle in here with him. His name's Albert. He's another wild caught specimen, but Albert was trapped under a rock. So I saved him, then I was like, hmm. Maybe he'll eat a fish. So I caught Bluey. I know Bluey doesn't like to talk about his past. He's been through some stuff. But I keep getting ate. I have such bad ADD right now. <laughs> um, so they get, eventually, I think the biggest tank you'll need is a 40 gallon. 40 gallon top. You could go bigger, but 40 gallons for one fish and then add about 10 gallons for another. I mean, for a 55, you could honestly put about three in there, three full grown fish in that. So, I mean, yeah. But they get around, they can get like, I think the biggest one I've ever caught was 11 inch bluegill and it, it was big. At first I thought I caught a bass, that's how strong it was. But, um, so, five gallons of water for when they're babies at minimum. I just keep them at 10 gallon for 10 gallon parameters. But, they're cold water, so don't put them in hot water. Um, offer a lot of hiding spots. They do hide quite a bit. He's, they love to eat, honestly. I could feed him but sometimes of course you won't act cool for the video that's how fish are apparently bluey but I have two types of live plants I have Anubis which Albert keeps uprooting and then I have moss balls I think I have two in here I don't know where the second one is but as you can see back there is where Albert likes to dig but he, him, and I, I would always have them with another fish. I, I wouldn't consider putting them by themselves. It just, it's not how, mentally, I think they need a friend. Kind of not, not a friend, but so, something to be with them. So they don't get bored because they are smart fish. So I have him with a turtle. He'll stay with the turtle for the rest of his life. Um, so they, they'll eat anything. I feed him, uh, cichlid flakes by Tetra Cichlid. Uh, seems to be working pretty well. He's beefing up a bit. He's got a little bit, a little beer belly. I've tried switching him over to pellets, but he will not take pellets. They usually do, but he just will not take them. So, maybe when he's bigger, because I don't want to cost, have to feed him a crap ton of flakes when I can just feed him a couple pellets. But, so, start them off when they're babies on flakes, 
then switch them over to pellets. It's pretty basic. So you can start them off in a 10 gallon, then you can put them in a 20 gallon and then a 40 gallon. The minimum tank for a bluegill, I would say is a 40 gallon. Max, there is no max. Honestly, you could put them in a 2,000 gallon aquarium and they do fine. So, they are going to grow quickly. If you look back at my old videos, he was about, let's see, he was about right there when I first got him. And he's already almost doubled in size. So, they're not slow growing fish. I can support them somewhat. I ha I work yards, so I mean, I get somewhat good pay. But it's not really an all-time thing. But I keep losing track of what I'm trying to say. Um, so I would suggest a naturalistic setting. I per I like rock. The area I caught them in had a bunch of rocks and a couple plants. It had sand bottom, but I didn't have sand. I had this, so I used this. But they also had moving water, so I used a filter. So I mean, I, w I would definitely keep them, if you're gonna catch one in the wild, put them in something that's similar to how you, where the area you caught them in, because it's too traumatic. Because I caught, the last one I caught, I put it in a completely different area, and then I had to release it back. So I mean, just keep it correctly. Now, the area I caught this guy in, there's like a bajillion of them, so really, I wasn't causing any harm to the ecosystem, but if you only see like a couple every now and then, I wouldn't suggest taking one, just because they might be, like, you want you don't want to destroy an ecosystem. The only reason I took him is because there's literally one day I'll show you all a video. There is hundred. There's probably around seventy in this one spot of this long creek. So I wasn't harming the ecosystem of that area because I released his bigger friend, which now I wish I had kept because two little baby bluegills would have been fun. And then Albert. But what I do to beef him up is sometimes he'll take worms. He doesn't always take them, but that's what I use to beef him up. You can they'll eat anything, honestly. Anything that fits in their mouth, it's gone. So don't keep them with like small fish. I wouldn't put him in this tank. Sorry, I had to move all my food right in front of that tank. And medicine. Which I don't I haven't had to use that in a minute. But, and once he gets older, he's they're going to be so beautiful. Honestly, they color up so well. He's kind of bland right now. I get him to... They start off kind of bland, but they definitely color up really well. He's starting to get his colors. Like, he's got a few stripes and stuff. But, he's definitely not at adult colors, as you can see. Big mouth. Big enough to eat that. So don't don't put them with anything smaller than them. So tank mates, I would say anything same size or slightly bigger. Don't put them with an Oscar fish. That's just a bad idea. Cause an Oscar fish, honestly I think an Oscar fish could kill one of these as an adult. Like both fish were an adult, Oscar fish would win. I mean, maybe the bluegill could be faster, but just don't put them with something that's super predatory. Put, I would say anything semi-aggressive or would be what you would want to put with them and same size. It's like silver dollars, stuff like that. Thank you for watching this video. That's my care video. Please don't kill baby bluegills. They're so cute. I love them. Peace.